Hi there, welcome back. This time in DaVinci Resolve, we will create a seamless infinite zoom effect using the dynamic zoom controls in the edit page. Dynamic zoom is a fast and easy way to create pan and scan effects to zoom into or out of a clip. Select a clip, simply enable the dynamic zoom controls in the inspector. And we get a zoom out animation by default. Click the swap button to switch between zoom in and zoom out effects. When dynamic zoom on screen controls are turned on, we can see two boxes in the viewer. The green box is the starting size and position of the transform, and the red one is the ending size and position. Drag anywhere within the box to adjust the position, or drag the corner to change the size. In the case of one box completely inside another one, we need to click the corner to select the box first, and then drag to change the position. If we adjust both boxes to the same size, we can create panning or scanning effects. In the inspector, we can choose different ease modes to control how the transform motion accelerates. Simply enable the dynamic zoom controls for the clips in the timeline, we will have a slideshow with animated zoom out transform effects. Click the swap button to switch to zoom in animation. When we change the clip duration, the dynamic zoom will also be adjusted automatically to reflect the change. While all the clips are selected, Press Ctrl T to apply the standard cross dissolve transitions to all clips. This will add some smoothness between the two animated clips. If we want to give each clip a unique transforming effect, we can use the dynamic zoom on screen controls to adjust the transform size and position for individual clips. Next, we will use these photos to create the infinite zoom effects, as we see at the beginning. Add a text plus title to the track above photo 1. Enter small letter n as the text, which is a circle shape in font webdings. Change the font color to green. Resize and move the circle to cover the lens. Select both the photo and text clips. Right-click and choose New Compound Clip, name the clip as Image 1. Go to the Effects Library, drag the 3D Kia from OpenFX Filters, and apply it to the Image 1 clip. Turn on the on-screen OpenFX Overlay, click and draw a line on the green circle to define the color key. Go to the Inspector, in the Effects tab, Adjust the disk pill to remove the green spills. If needed, you can also play with other parameters in the matte finesse section to get a clean cutout result you like. Switch to the video tab in the inspector. Enable dynamic zoom and press the swap button to change to zoom in effect. Turn on the dynamic zoom on screen controls. Resize the red ending box and move it to the middle of the camera lens. Play the timeline, and we have a nice zoom in transform effect, but it seems a bit too slow. Change the clip duration to two seconds. Now it looks good. For the second image, we will zoom in through the door entrance. Drag a solid color generator from the effects library to the track above the photo too. Change the color to green. Turn on the crop on screen control. Crop the green image to fit the door entrance. Create a compound clip and name it image 2. Select previous clip image 1, press Ctrl C or right click to make a copy. Select Image 2, press Alt-V or right-click to open the Paste Attributes window. Select Plugins and press Apply. 
The 3D keyer is now applied to image 2 with the same settings, and we have a clean cutout using the same color key. Go to the video tab in the inspector, enable dynamic zoom, swap the dynamic zoom start and end. In the viewer, turn on the dynamic zoom on screen controls. Resize and position the ending box to the middle of the entrance. Move the clip to the track below image 1. Change its duration so it continues to play 2 more seconds after image 1. Since the first part of image 2 is underneath image 1, not quite visible. We can slow down the transform motion by setting the ease mode to ease in. Repeat the same steps for photo 3 and photo 4 and put them under image 2. In the case of photo 5 and 6, the zoom through shapes are not the normal rectangle or circle. To cut out the shape, drag the custom mask polygon effect from the effects library and apply it to the photo clip. I have another video showing the details of how to use fusion mask tools in the edit page. You can find the link in the description. Check the invert option in the inspector and disable the polygon shape animation. Turn on the Fusion on-screen overlay controls. Modify the polygon to match the shape of the window. Once we are done with the polygon mask shape, add a solid color clip below the photo clip, change the color to green. Create a compound clip, name it Image 5. Press Alt-V to copy the 3D keyer. Enable and swap dynamic zoom. Go to the viewer and adjust the transform ending size and position. Move it to the track below image 4. Align the clip position and duration accordingly. Similarly, apply a polygon mask to photo 6 and repeat the steps. Once all the clips are done and stacked together under each other, we have a nice seamless infinite zoom effect to reveal the images one by one. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.